what is up, Leo? Okay, Leo, this is going to be your general reading for February. If you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. Okay, first of all, Leo, let's get your energies. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Okay. At the bottom we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Definitely feeling the energy. Okay, let's get some more energy for Leo. What's going on with Leo, Spirit? Clear, cancel, and release. Okay. Leo, you may be finding your purpose in a way that you're releasing things that no longer serve you. And I know you hear that. You may hear that a lot, but... Um, it's very important to release the things that just aren't working any longer in your life so that you can move into your purpose. You know, as, as human beings, we keep a lot of things that we really never intend on using. Or we, we just accumulate these things, you know. Okay, we have despondence. Yeah, I feel like in one way or another, I feel like you're kind of moving past things. You're trying to get out of this stuck energy, Leo, and you have faith at the bottom. So I, I really feel like at this time you are really focused on something. I know you've been really going through it. Um, the past couple of readings have been pretty intense for Leo. So I totally understand. Let's get some tarot for Leo. Let's see what's going on. Let's get some tarot. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. That's really good energy. I feel like you're planting seeds. The Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, you're making you're hitting a turning point. Leo. Things are moving around. The Five of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Now look at this. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. All we need now is the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. No, this is the Seven of Wands. I can't see yet, Leo. Yes, yeah, some of the ones. <clears throat> and the temperance card. Wow. And we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, I'm really liking this energy for you. At the bottom, look what we have. The King of Cups. Beautiful energy. I feel like you are flowing into this. You're flowing into this new opportunity. This new way. This new path. You have a lot of new beginnings here, Leo. So I feel like the struggle that you were going through before, you're overcoming that struggle. You've kind of been through the the choppy waters you've been through the rapids you have ran you know it's run its course and i feel like you're finally in this calmness you're finally in this place where 
you're finally able to plant your seeds and really focus on things that you believe in, things that you like, things that you love to do. Um, I feel like, you know, with, with the Ace of Wands energy, I feel like you're moving. You're flowing into this new energy. You're, you're possibly finding your purpose. You're possibly, you know, clearing away all that clutter. And you may be literally clearing away the clutter. You know, um, but with the Ace of Pentacles, I really feel like, you know, maybe you're selling off all that stuff that you're holding on to because this is abundance. This is something that's bringing you cash flow. You know, I, I feel like whatever new ideas that you're getting, whatever new passion this is, whatever clutter you're letting go of, it's bringing you prosperity. It's bringing you more wisdom. And it may be bringing you into this more playful, competitive mood as well. Now, I'm not seeing this Five of Wands as any chaos or conflict or anything like that. I'm seeing this as you kind of in this playful mood you're finding yourself again you're actually feeling a little childish you know like you want to have this this experience you know you're competing playing like it's some sort of sport you know and you may be athletic but I feel like whatever, whatever this is for you, however this resonates, it's bringing you prosperity. It's bringing you a feeling of satisfaction. And I feel like that's exactly what you need right now, Leo, because I know, you know, the past couple readings have been really tough. They've been really uh, seeing you going through your challenges, through being around people that didn't have your best intentions, you know? So this is really good to see because I see that you're, you're feeling more grounded. Maybe you have released everything that you needed to release. Maybe you've moved away from these negative people because you're finding more stability. You're, you're using your resources wisely, you know? And I feel like it's, it makes you feel good to know that you're doing these things. You know, you're, you're finding this truth. You're finding a purpose for, you know, any actions that you're taking. I feel like with this Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords, this is the beginning to you taking action on any of your inspiring ideas. You know, and I think that that's very important because, you know, ideas are just ideas. But if you're able to take action on just one of those ideas, it can make you very prosperous. You know, I'm, I'm really loving this energy for you. I really am. Okay, we have the seven of wands. So I feel like whatever this energy is, whatever this competition is, you know, and this is like being in competition as well as the five of, of wands. This is you defending something, you know, protecting something. I feel like you're, you're at this point where you're not really telling people what moves you're going to take. You're just making these strategic plans. And you may even be writing them down, but I don't feel like you're really sharing them with anybody. I feel like you want to see the fruits of your labor. You want to see the fruits of your labor before you tell anybody about your plans. I feel like you're just holding them close to you. You know, and it, this is really good to see because I feel like in this reading, I feel there's healing. There's a lot more balance. So I feel like whatever you were going through, Leo, you've made a turning point. You've kind of shift. You shifted gears, you know, 
beautiful energy. And I feel like you've gained a lot of clarity in the situation. So you kind of feel whether someone is for you or against you. You're kind of able to see that now. And that's really good. I feel like, you know, making those little changes, making those little changes to defend yourself, to really protect yourself from people who really don't have good intentions, who really are just using us for their own material gain. I feel like that's helped you gain a lot of wisdom and it can actually be life changing for you because I feel like a lot, a lot more things are actually coming around for you. This is a really, really beautiful turning point. You're shifting gears. And I, I see that this is, with all of these aces here, this is a really, a really great new journey. This is a nice new beginning. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. So I feel like, you know, this is you. You're curious about the outcome. You're very curious. You may be studying. You may be, you know, doing the research or asking people you can trust, you know, what to do in a certain situation. But I feel like with the Page of Swords, you're actively looking for answers, you know. You're not just sitting there hoping that they come by you by chance. You're actively looking for the answers. Okay, and I, I believe whatever answers you're searching for, you're going to be able to find. Because you're actually looking towards the future. You know, you're collaborating with just the right people. You're surrounding yourself with your soul tribe. You know? And I feel like this... This is helping you grow and flourish into this new purpose that you're feeling in this new beginning. It's helping you take hold of all these changes that are happening around you. Very beautiful energy. You know, you're learning how to be a free spirit. And... Like, take creative action. I feel like with this, with this Knight of Wands, I feel like, like this is like new discoveries, like a new journey. You're setting out to go on this new adventure, you know, see all the possibilities. Yeah, it's bringing you a lot of happiness. There will be reason for celebration. This is surrounding yourself with people who care about you, who love you, who you love. Being reunited with the people who um, kind of have your back. You know, this could be friends, family, soulmates. Yeah, but I feel a lot of happiness, celebration. Maybe you're going home, wherever home is for you. So maybe you will be traveling. Maybe you will be going on this adventure, you know? Let's see, what else do we have for Leo? Okay, I see you, the star. I feel like you're reaching for the stars, Leo. You set your goals. You set your intentions. And now you're pushing past the challenges that you just faced. And you're reaching for the stars. You're trying to find that goal. Because I feel like you're, you're starting to get your balance. You're starting to get that stable feeling again. So, this star energy can also be you 
having a feeling of being renewed, having total faith in the path that you're going on. You know? The star can also mean that you are the center of the spotlight, which I know you like to be, Leo. Leos like to be noticed. Exactly. They like to be the center of attention. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. You're definitely finding your stability. You're definitely coming into more abundance, more, you know, financial gain, practical gain. Um, the King of Pentacles, they're also very reliable, very stable, and very loyal. So that's very interesting that, you know, I, I feel like you're surrounding yourself by more people who are loyal to you and your intentions. You know, we have the death card. So I feel like this is, I, I feel like with the death card, you saw that something needed to be permanently ended. For you to move forward on your path. You saw that there needed to be a transformation. There needed to be something totally put to an end. So that you could have this new beginning with these aces. You know, the death card. The death card is not something bad. It's really not. The death card are big changes. And now, it can be permanent endings, but it's also after those permanent endings, there's beautiful beginnings. It's a time to move on. You know, it's sort of a being reborn and then totally transforming into this new reality. And I feel like that's kind of what this is for you. You're totally transforming into this new reality, finding your purpose, finding what truly matters to Leo, you know? And I feel like, like I said, I feel like it went through a lot of struggle, but by finding what really makes you happy, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's surrounding you with happiness, with your abundance, with satisfaction, and all you needed to do, Leo, was make those hard choices. What do you release? What not to release? What do I move away from? What do I keep? You know, those hard choices. And I feel like you have options. You always have options, Leo. But having options and making choices are two different things because options aren't necessarily going to bring you to your transformation. It's truly making the choice that you're going to go into your transformation and have your happiness, you know? So that's, that's very important to understand. Okay, yeah, we have the Five of Swords. So, now you do have transformation. You do have happiness. But Leo, this is real life. There's always going to be challenges. But the good thing, Leo, is I feel these challenges, you are definitely going to be victorious. Now, I'm not sure if this is a love reading, if this is, you know, um, career, money, what have you. Take it how it resonates for you. This is a general reading. But look at this. Two of Cups. Soulmate. Partnership. Love. Reunion. You know? That is what... That is what you may not be expecting, but you will receive. You know, there's a Queen of Cups underneath that. 
emotional balance. The Queen of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. See, and you know what? Leo. You know, I don't know if this is a love reading or if this is whatever. Like I said, this is a general reading. So take it how it resonates. But if it's love that you're looking for, there is definitely love coming your way. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, the Sun. We have the Four of Wands. There's definitely a time for celebration, for getting together. And if it's getting together, then you're looking for, then if you're not attached at the moment, there is someone coming close to you with this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. And maybe more than one person, Leo. Hmm. Let's get some monology cards. Let's see what monology has to say for Leo. Okay, we have two. Okay, nothing will come of this situation and hold your vision. Okay, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that if you do not take action, nothing is going to come of, come of this. In order for your situation to develop and um, become reality, come into fruition, you have to take action. You got to be bold and assertive. So I feel like that's the reason why Spirit is letting you know to hold your vision. Be assertive. You know, move when you need to move. Rest when you need to rest. But find balance, spirituality, and practicality. We definitely have balance in this reading. You're definitely finding your balance. And you may want to, like I said, uh, meditate and contemplate also. That will help you become more balanced, more focused. Sometimes after I meditate, that's when the ideas just start flowing. Like, just quieting my mind and giving my mind time to kind of react to the ideas that makes a huge huge difference so that may be what you want to do Leo you may want to meditate some quiet your mind and get into a meditative state to kind of listen to what your thoughts are really telling you what spirit wants you to know Okay, we have, <laughs> yeah, okay, we have Lighten Up, First Quarter Moon in Leo. There you go, Leo, you're showing up. We also have New Moon in Scorpio, Go Deeper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with meditation. Go deeper. Listen closely. And then we have Cancer Energy, Push Through Any Insecurity. Just move, you know. You're going to be fine, Leo. Just move. Now I'm going to take another deck so we can get a little bit more clarification. What's going on with Leo? Give me more messages for this situation, please. The devil. Yeah, you, you've been needing to break free. You've been kind of blocked in this energy. Um, there may be something that you're still holding on to that needs to be released. Uh, maybe some negative energy around you. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune. So big changes are coming your way. But this is, like, like I said in, in the beginning, you're at a turning point, Leo. Big changes are coming. You just have to push forward and take hold of these new beginnings. Because look at this. Wish fulfillment, happiness, contentment, being happy in your situation. You know, how long has it been since you've been truly happy in your situation? And we have the Six of Swords. 
So you're definitely moving into this calmer spirit, moving away from the chaos and the hustle and bustle, you know? Um, I, th I feel like you're really yearning to kind of quiet your mind so you can really actively listen and make choices. We have the tower. So, and you know, the tower isn't a bad thing as well. It may be a little negative, but there's a reason for it. The tower, something has to crumble because it wasn't stable enough to flourish. Something that was maybe built on sand and not on concrete. Something wasn't solid. So it, it just wasn't the right idea. It wasn't the right venture. Um, it wasn't the right place for you to build something better. So the tower has to crumble and it's actually seen as like a blessing in disguise because once that tower crumbles, then something new can be built in its place. You know, something new that can be built on more stable ground, more, you know, more st sustainable. So, yeah, don't look at this tower as something bad. You know, something had to end so that you could have your karma flow. You know, finding your balance. Getting rewarded for the work that you've done. You know, th this karma coming back to you. That's the reason why this tower had to fall. Because it's karmic energy. Maybe you kind of added into this negative energy with, you know, this past person. Maybe you kind of added into that. So, you know, that, that relationship wasn't built on stable ground. That job wasn't built on stable ground. So it had to crumble. But your karma... Your karma is there. So whatever you do is going to be returned to you tenfold. You know? So don't worry about this tower. This tower had to happen. Your karma is coming back. You're, you're going to get your rewards. You're going to get whatever you put out there. You're going to get it back. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Stability. Look at this. Two Queens. Two Queen of Pentacles. And she's not even looking at that rabbit. Look at that. That rabbit represents her fears, her insecurities. She's not even focused on that rabbit. But look, she's looking at her reflection in the pinnacle. She's seeing herself as stable and balanced and aware you know beautiful energy i'm really loving this okay what else do we have for leo please the strength card there you go leo there you go love self-love strength courage the ability to endure struggle and still come out on top. Look at this. She has the infinity sign above her head. She's blessed. She's blessed. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get an angel card and then we're going to go ahead and end it here. Okay, angels, what would you like to say to Leo? What do we have for Leo, please? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Beautiful. At the bottom, we have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. Beautiful. Okay. That is what I'm going to leave you with, Leo. And I love this reading. This is a turning point. So I love this. 
Leo, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I'll have all of them uploaded by next week. And until your next reading, Leo, many blessings, love and light.